Hello friends, Rainbow Cat here, and let's turn off that cursor, because, in fact, we are doing something different. I see you can see, we are not on a game. We are on a fan fiction. Not just any fan fiction, though. It's a one-shot. And as it gives me from this title, it's called Wake Up. It's a Solix Maka. If you guys don't get this reference, watch Soul Eater. It's an anime. I. Fun fact. I love anime. And unfortunately, guys have now known my entity. I am known as Deanna Gum. <laughs> so, a uh, quick... Quick thing. Before I read real quick, I wanted to keep my identity a secret, but unfortunately, that cannot happen. So now, guys, if you want me to do a uh, face cam, I'll do that. So, let's get into this. By the way, guys, I cannot do voices. <sighs> so, please enjoy. <clears throat> Uh, Maka, I mean, Sol says, looking at her laying on the couch as he walks into the living room. He slightly laughs to himself, realizing she's asleep. So she fell asleep, Sol questions, grinning as he walks out to the front door. I'll be back before she wakes up. She don't even know I'm gone, he tells himself as he grabs his motorcycle's key. I'll get her something as an apology, Sol thinks, shutting the door, front door smiling. I'm a real jerk, he thinks glumly, sticking his hand into his pockets. I can't believe I forgot her birthday and then got into an argument with her. That was Spav. This is now Maka Spav. I sit up yawning as I stare around the empty room. Hmm, I wonder where Sol is, I think, getting up and walking to his room. For some reason, I have this real... I have this weird feeling something is wrong with him. I knock on his door. Sol? No response. I open the door to see no one inside. Oh, I think I'm confused. Where did he go? I hear the house phone ringing from in the kitchen. I say and walk out of his room and shutting the door. I wonder where he is. I think walking into the kitchen and taking the phone off its base. Hello? Answer casually as I open the refrigerator getting the apple juice out. I hear sniffling over the line. Um, hello? Wait, um, hello? I say again, worried. M Maka, someone says to the tears, this is Subaki. I freeze in my place with the apple juice in open in my hand. Subaki, what's wrong? Subaki is crying. This can't be good. Did her and Black Star break up or did something else happen? Oh, oh my gosh. So this is canon. Well, not really canon. Okay, so there's this other fan. It's not fan fiction. Oh my gosh, what am I saying? Mix up in my words, guys. Okay, Tsubaki x Black Star is another ship that people would like canon. So I'm guessing it's in this. Yeah, whatever. Back to the story. It's about Soul. Tsubaki sobs. He got in into an accident and died. I feel the ap apple juice slip out of my fingers and drop to the floor. You're kidding. I say as I feel tears welling up in my eyes. Tsubaki answers, sobbing harder, and I set the phone onto the counter, covering my face. I begin to sob. This can't be real. This has to be a dream. I wipe my eyes, looking at the apple juice spreading on the floor. He can't be. I sink to the floor, sobbing and covering my head. I never got to say. I didn't even get to tell him I was sorry for that argument we had earlier. It's my birthday, and he goes and dies on the same day? I clench my fists, sobbing. I shake my head. This isn't real. This has to be a dream. This has to be a dream. I lay down on the floor sobbing. Wake up. Please let me wake up. After a while of sobbing and pleading, I finally drift off to sleep from exhaustion. <sighs> okay, guys. I'm sorry. Emotional part. Didn't realize this was going to turn out emotional. I just... <sighs> <sighs> okay. I wake up and sit abruptly, realizing I'm laying on the couch. Sol is sitting right beside me, and my head was just laying in his lap. I feel my eyes getting glassy. 
I look into his peaceful sleeping face. It was a dream. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that. Plot twist. Ha ha. It was a dream, I think with tears flowing at the corners of my eyes. Oh, he finally woke up. So questions yawning as he opens his eyes. I feel the tears slipping as I abruptly throw my arms around his neck, sobbing. He's okay. He's really okay. Soul hugs me back hesitantly. Why are you crying? I keep crying happy tears as I hug him. Eventually, I calm down enough that I pull away and begin to wipe my face clean. I had a bad dream, I say laughing awkwardly as I wipe the last of my tears away. About? Soul questions, curiously looking at me. I'd rather not say, I say blushing. If I tell him, it might sound ridiculous. Soul looks, anno- look at- looks at me annoyed. Maka, you can't just wake up, look at me, cry, and then h- cry and then hug me and accept me not to ask why. I sigh. Fine. I had a dream he died. Soul huffs, puffing, pulling me back into a hug. My gosh, my wording. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. And about earlier with that argument, I'm sorry I forgot your birthday. I lean my head against Soul's shoulder, clo- shoulder cl- closing my eyes. Me too. I'm sorry for getting so mad. I feel myself flushing as timid as timidly begin as it. <laughs> you what? Whatever. I feel myself. I feel myself blushing as I timidly begin to speak. There's something I want to say because that dream got me thinking. If you would have died, there's something you'd never have heard me say. Soul pulls me away from him and stares down at me curiously. And what would that be? I blush, biting my lip. How is he going to take this? I... I stammer out, blushing furiously. Um... Soul smirks, pulling my chin towards and... uh, Towards? Towards what? Towards him and gently placing his lips on mine. My eyes widen and I can feel the heat radiating off my face. He pulls away, staring into my face, grinning. I love you, too. Isn't that cute? That's just so cute. That's kawaii. Kawaii to Sue. <sighs> oh, yes, I just had, like, a cheek squishing moment. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, yeah, that was the fan fiction. Well, kind of. There's more if you guys would like me to read more. And yeah, just just let uh, if you like this and you want me to read more fan fictions like this or different fan fictions. Uh, like and comment what you want, what you would like me to read below. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Stop recording. Read it. Read it. Three, two, one. Bye, guys.